In this episode of Pastor Brad Rocks. Hey man, you ready to learn something about spiritual warfare and how to win over those battles, to win over, over temptation, to get over those hangups? Man, I'm telling you what, this is awesome. I get to share a story with you from my grandpa, Merle, who was a tremendous spiritual mentor in my life, uh, even though I never knew him. I, I've got all these stories in my heart. It's going to be awesome. You're going to learn. You're going to grow. I get to share my song with you called Two Dogs, which is based on one of his stories. It's going to be super, super, super encouraging. Glad you're here man you ready let's do it Man, it's Pastor Brad here, your 80s heavy metal, head-banging, Jesus-loving online pastor. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the Pastor Brad Rocks podcast. Hey, wherever you happen to be listening to this episode, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any future episodes. If you're enjoying these podcasts, whatever platform you happen to be on, if you can leave a thumbs up or a comment or share this episode with a friend, that would be awesome to help the audience grow. God bless you, man. Thank you in advance so much for that. And now... Let's move on to the point of today's podcast. The more you are plugged into Jesus, the more his life flows into you. And you have that strength, uh, that spiritual power to live the life that he's called you to live. And all of that produces this fruit. The Bible says in John chapter 15, verse 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit apart from me you can do nothing that statement by jesus is the foundation of a class that we teach at our church called qt qt stands for quiet time and the big challenge that we make in that class is that we all need to stay plugged into jesus we all need a daily quiet time with him a time when we sit at his feet and we spend time in his word meditating on his truth so that our minds are transformed and renewed so that we can hear his voice and discern his will in our lives and when you plug in and you stay plugged into Jesus like that, because he's the vine, his life, his life flows into you, transforms you from the inside out. And then Jesus says, you will be fruitful. He doesn't say you'll have to like work at being fruitful. You'll be changed from the inside out so that guess what? You will be pure in your sexual behavior. And you know what happens when you're pure in your sexual behavior in this world? You stand out as a light because this world doesn't live that way. You'll be kind to those who are mean-spirited to you. And guess what happens when you do that? You'll be a witness for Jesus. That, and all of that's fruit, you see. The fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience. You'll have joy. Christian joy is strength. It's not just happiness. Happiness is based on what happens to us. Joy is based in the character of Christ. And so even when you're sad, even when you're having a difficult time in this world, you can be joyful in Christ because you know your joy is based on his promises and his character and the truth that he's never going to leave you or forsake you, that he's working in every circumstance of your life for good. So you still have joy to press through. That comes from staying plugged into him. We could go on and on and on with this. The more you are plugged into Jesus, the more his life flows into you and you have that strength, uh, that spiritual power to live the life that he's called you to live. And all of that produces this fruit that Jesus is talking about here. And apart from him, you can do nothing. You don't have any of that life in you. In 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15, Peter says, but in your hearts, set apart Christ as Lord. The tense of the verbs there is continuous. That means do this every day. Every day, wake up and say, good morning, Lord. You sit on the throne of my heart, man. I'm setting you apart as my Lord. This is what it means to stay plugged into the vine. Second Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9 tells us something awesome about God. It says, the eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to to him. God is looking for those people who've set Christ apart as Lord. He wants to make you strong. He wants to fill you with his spirit, that spirit of power, not a spirit of fears, as Paul wrote to Timothy. Matthew chapter 5, verse 6, Jesus, right at the beginning of the Sermon on the Mount, said, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst. And again, those verbs are continuous. Who hunger every day, who thirst every hour of every day for righteousness. That is to, to walk in God's ways, to know him, to walk with him. 
for they will be filled. God wants to reward those who earnestly seek him like that. I love it. I am the vine, Jesus said. You are the branches. Get this word picture, right? If you remain in me, if you stay plugged into me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit. And the idea there is godly fruit. You'll be a godly witness. You'll grow in Christ-like character. But apart from me, if you don't stay connected to me, if you don't seek me, it's just like any relationship, guys. You, can, you don't get married to somebody and then say, okay, well, I told you I loved you at the altar, you know. If, you, if that ever changes, I'll let you know. <laughs> what kind of marriage would that be, right? If you never spend time with your spouse and love them and, and, and relate with them and stay connected to them, your, your relationship falls apart. Jesus is saying the same thing, man. This is, a, this is a relationship. I'm your Lord. I'm your Savior. The Bible even describes Jesus as our elder brother. We're family. It's awesome. When we stay connected to him, we have all the power and all the grace and all the love and all the promises of God we need to live a godly life and to produce much fruit for the glory of God. But Jesus says in John 15 verse six, if you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. He's just using a very practical illustration here that everybody would have understood in his day. On your, on your grapevine, when branches wither or they don't produce fruit or they die, they fall to the ground, the vineyard keeper comes along and throws them on a brush pile. And after a while, he just burns them because they're, not, they're useless. They didn't stay plugged into the vine. They're dead. And so they're burned. You know, we could talk a long time about that imagery of being burned up, but, but uh, we get it, right? That's not good, guys. Here's what it all comes down to. My grandpa used to tell this story all the time. My grandpa Merle was an awesome man. He was an elder in the church his whole life. Uh, just a, a, a wonderful Christ-following man. Never had more than an eighth grade education, but had wisdom, wisdom. And people would come to him when they were struggling spiritually, and he had all these stories he told. Many times people would say, Merle, that was his name, Merle. Man, I want to follow the Lord. I know that Jesus is real. I know God is real. I just, I don't know, man. I just, I just keep struggling. I keep, I got all these old hangups and these old habits. And, and he'd say, okay, well, let me tell you a story. There was a man and he had two dogs. And one was a white dog and one was a black dog. And he said, every once in a while, they'd get into it, man. They'd fight, they'd scrap. And I'd have to pull them apart. He'd say, but you know which dog would always win? And they'd say, no, man, what, which dog? And he'd say, the one that I loved and cared for and fed the most, man, and took care of. He'd always be the stronger one, and he'd always win. <laughs> and he'd go on to say, you know, the, in that story, the black dog represents your flesh, your sin nature, your carnal nature, the part of you that wants to rebel against God and just give in to the appetites of your flesh. And the white dog represents the spirit of God within you. The voice of God within you, calling you, giving you the power, the strength to, to live for Christ, right? That life that comes from the vine uh, that, that empowers you to produce this fruit. He said, now look, look, which one are you feeding the most, man? Are you feeding your flesh? Are you opening your heart and your mind and your eyes up to the things of this world and just filling your mind with those things all the time? and starving the white dog? Or are you sitting down at the feet of Jesus, staying plugged into the vine and feeding the white dog? Because the one you feed the most, that's the one that's going to be stronger. That's the one that's going to win. Awesome story, man. Never forgot that. That's what this song, Two Dogs, from my 2003 release, Rock You Up, is all about. Um, it's an ACDC vibe. You can't miss the Angus and Malcolm influence and the riff and all that. But um, I, I wrote this to honor my grandpa. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it rocks you up. Thanks for hanging out with me, man. Here it is, Two Dogs.
All right. Hey, man, thanks so much for hanging out with me on this podcast. I hope you really enjoyed it, and I hope it totally rocked you up for Jesus. As we wrap things up here, let me quickly say, if you dig what I'm doing, man, and you're blessed by the music, the podcast, the teaching videos, etc., and you want to support this ministry, this mission to reach classic metalheads for Jesus, I want to invite you to head over to my Patreon page and learn how your just couple dollars a month will make a huge difference in this ministry. And also about some amazing exclusive benefits that you'll receive in exchange for your support. The link to my Patreon page will be at the very top of the show notes. So head over there, check it out, learn about it, pray about it. And whatever you decide, man, God bless you. And thanks for being part of the Pastor Brad Rocks family, man. Remember to like, share, subscribe, leave comments, all those things. That helps the show to grow. Really appreciate it. Stop by PastorBradRocks.net sometime. Over there, you can learn all about the ministry of the music. Get some free uh, music downloads, all kind of cool stuff. Also, if you're interested in following Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, best to decision you'll ever, ever, ever make promise bar none. You can learn about that over at pastorbradrocks.net as well, or leave a comment here. I'll get back with you. Shoot me an email at pastorbrad at AOL.com. Yes, I still use AOL. Isn't that amazing? (laughs) Thanks for hanging out with me, man. Until next time, keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you. Pastor Brad, out.